All right, Pisces dealing with Virgo, Holy Spirit, angels, and heads, God, universe, ancestors, and the highest and most high. You are welcome into this reading for the sign of Pisces dealing with a Virgo. Sun, moon, rising, Venus, north node, and Jupiter placements. Also, check out your other signs if you're a Pisces or if you're a uh, Scorpio, uh, north node. Uh, check out Pisces dealing with Scorpio. That reading may resonate with you. So let's see. We're going to get four cards from the Rebel deck for Pisces dealing with a Virgo. This is for February 20th through the 26th. One more, please. Thank you. We're going to be taking four cards from the Rebel deck, four cards from the Hidden Truth Oracle, and then four cards from the Andromeda Skies. Then we'll <clears throat> jump into your tarot reading and close it out with a few oracles at the end. Into the smoke, we release all energy that does not serve us, all negativity that surrounds us, and all fears that limit us. So it is. So we have F U C K. Shit is about to get real. F U C K. You need your people around you. Okay. So something here may be going down. You may need to, you know, be around people who um, are genuine to you. Believe what you see. Face reality or live in La La Land. Choose bravely. So some of you guys need to face reality, believe what you see, and only half of what you hear, okay? Um, some things may be getting ready to go down. You are given too many Fs. You need to give zero, all right? This could be a message for you, Pisces. This could be a message for Virgo. Take what side of this you're on. Take what message is for you and leave the rest. We have, you are the best thing that ever happened to you. Go easy on your ass and buy your own damn drink. Okay, so some of you guys need to, I would say like self-care. I'm not saying drinking is self-care, but um, go easy on yourself. Um, I feel like you guys have given too many Fs. Some of you guys may be given too, given too much of yourself to a person, place, or thing, and Spirit is telling you to, to back off and... Um, Take care of yourself at this time. Do what you need to do or Virgo needs to, okay? So we, let's move on to the Hidden Truth Oracle. What messages do you have between Pisces and Virgo? Message it. Whoa. Messages, please, between Pisces and Virgo. Do you guys find that these messages give you any guidance, inspiration? Um, let me know. Drop a comment. Smash that thumbs up button. We have I will wait for a sign from you. Okay, and then we have, my life is not together as it seems. So you could be dealing with someone, or this could be you, um, whose life may not be together as it seems on the outside. And I couldn't let you get close to me, and so many things remind me of you. So maybe somebody is keeping their distance from you because something's not, like their life isn't all together as it seems. Or you're keeping your distance from someone because your life isn't um, all together as it seems. And we have, I... Uh, we both know I'm not the one for you on the bottom of the deck. I feel like one of you guys is waiting for a sign from the other one. Someone may be getting signs and synchronicities. Uh, like so many things remind you of this person or vice versa. So many things remind them of you. Maybe a song comes on on the radio and it makes you think of this person. Or they see a car that looks like yours. Or hear a voice that looks like yours. Or, some, or sounds like yours. Excuse me. So then we have... Um, I don't know what I want. And, wow. And you are the love of my life. That's contradicting. Okay. So maybe one of you doesn't know what you want. And the other one is like, no, you're my, you're my end game. <laughs> Dang. So with this, we both know I'm not the one for you. This could, gives me like maybe someone's in denial. Okay. We also have, please forgive me. So I don't know if somebody's wanting forgiveness from the other one. I feel like somebody's like, um, I feel like one of you, I don't know which side of this you're on, but one of you is like wanting the other one. Um, I feel terrible for hurting you. So I don't know if this is someone you were with or someone, I don't know if you guys were together for a long time or this is just someone you know, but I feel like one of you guys doesn't really know what you want. 
So either you don't know what you want and the other person feels like, no, you're the love of my life. And you're like, we both know you're not the one for me, like, or I'm not the one for you. We both know that. So I feel like one person is a complete like denial and the other person is, this is giving me like runner chaser vibes. Um, believe what you see, right? Or live in la la land. So it's like, if someone's telling you or, or giving you signs that they don't want you know, anything more serious. And you're like, but you're the love of my life. I want to be with you. Please forgive me. I feel terrible or someone may feel terrible for hurting the other one and hoping that you can forget, forgive them, but they don't know what they want yet. You know, so, um, I feel like I can't give you what you need. Yeah. So someone here may feel inadequate or have some type of insecurities. There could be an age difference, difference in upbringing, uh, cultural belief systems, uh, whatever it is. Um, lifestyles um but this spirit is literally saying believe what you see you're giving too many f's to this situation you're the best thing that ever happened to you not this person okay or vice versa you know it's like somebody here is caring too much for a situation that's not reciprocating the same energy things are about to get real you may need your people around you so this is giving me the energy of like somebody's gonna have to face a harsh reality whether that's you or this other person i don't know so let's see. Show me Pisces overall energy, please. These cards are already shuffled. But I'll give them a couple more. So first card out is going to be for Pisces overall energy dealing with the Virgo for February 20th through the 26th. What is Pisces overall energy, please? The ones dealing with a Virgo. Show me Virgo's overall energy. Four of Pentacles. So Pisces, you could be the one that's holding back or you could be the one that's holding on. It's too soon to tell, but we'll see. Show me Virgo. Also, this energy can be completely flip-flop. So don't shoot the messenger. Just flip the rules, okay? So let's see. What is Virgo's overall energy, please, when dealing with this Pisces? What is Virgo? Renewal. Okay, so you're the one that's like holding back and this person's wanting you, possibly. Or the rules are reversed, guys. Flip it, switch it. Sorry, I'm going to itch. <laughs> All right. Anyways, Four of Pentacles says your overall energy, Pisces. This can talk about holding on, holding back, managing your resources wisely, extremes in how you give and receive money, time, and emotions, smart business decisions, seeing things as black and white, and being charitable. So some of you guys, you know, are just holding back, withholding your time, your energy, your resources. You're not really giving too much. Some of you guys could be saving, like being conservative, um, spending, and managing your resources wisely, like... I'm not given to a situation that I don't, uh, I'm not given to anything I don't want to give to, period, <laughs> all right? Uh, then we got renewal, uh, Virgo's overall energy. Reviewing the past with compassion and forgiveness. Time to head in a new direction. Clarity on your life purpose and your heart, you know what to do. So um, somebody here may be wanting to renew a situation with you. They may be wanting some type of forgiveness. Um, this person may feel like they know what they want or where they want to go like you are the love of my life it's like wait hold on Pisces I want to be with you and you're possibly like I don't want to give to this any longer or you know this is giving me again runner chaser vibes it's like a change in perspectives I wouldn't be surprised if the wheel comes out in this reading but it's like a change in perspectives like I don't know how you know this person but intuitively I'm picking up that maybe one of you was more more giving and now that the other one's holding back the other one is like no wait you know please forgive me i'm sorry for hurting you and you're like i don't really know if i want this anymore you know it's like kind of like um a f you know a table turning situation is what i'm picking up all right show me pisces emotions seven of swords yeah see you you could be hiding your emotions you could be lying about your own emotions you may not just need even know how you freaking feel seven of swords this could talk about a loss of peace of mind or personal freedom so maybe some of you guys feel like you don't want to give you know you don't want to let go of your freedom you like your freedom so some of you guys may be thinking of a strategy an exit plan like how do i get out of this situation okay a loss of peace of mind or personal freedom. Take caution and beware of others' actions. A material loss. Make sure you are being honest with yourself and embarrassing secrets. So within your emotions, I don't know if you know something about this person. This person may have found out something about you. Uh, that's for some of you, not for all of you. Also, this is telling you um, some of you guys are being cautious 
um, with your emotions. This is in your emotion sector. Some of you guys are being cautious and it could come off deceptive um, because you are holding back. You're not giving to, so it may feel like, someone may feel like you're hiding something, you're holding on to something because you are holding back. You're not, um, um, but I feel like this could be coming from, if there was any type of deception, lying, cheating, stealing in this situation, this may be the situation where maybe you don't trust somebody now. So now you're withholding your time energy. Um, be You guys are, take caution, be aware of others' actions. A loss of material wealth. So maybe somebody took something from you. Maybe you took something from somebody. Either way, I feel like this is you holding back because there was something that happened here. And now you're aware of uh, someone's actions. You're aware of what they're capable of or something to that nature. So you guys are now, the energy has flip-flopped. Okay, now you guys are being cautious for pentacles, not giving or being uh, very cautious in how you give and receive time, energy, emotion. So it's like, I'm not going to give too much to this situation because I don't, I know what could happen here. You know, show me Virgo, show me Virgo's emotions, please. How's Virgo feeling emotionally? And again, guys, the roles could be reversed. So you guys know your own story better than I do. I'm just the messenger. All right. Show me Virgo's emotions. Thank you. We've got the Knight of Swords. Yeah, this person may be rushing in, wanting to communicate some type of truth. Uh, this person is very decisive, focused, driven. Events that move with great speed choose intellectual responses to challenges rather than emotional. Sudden or unexpected changes. Review your options carefully. This could be a quick departure, quick arrival, but this is quick quick moving energy. Um, this person may be wanting to tell you how they feel. They wanna maybe wanna get something off their chest rather quickly. This may come in a little bit harsh or blunt or um, could be received that way as well. This is someone who's choosing to like have an intellectual uh, response rather than an emotional response. So rather than crying and boohooing, it's like somebody's coming in, like trying to, trying to like state something here. So show me Pisces next move. What is Pisces next move? Knight of Wands. Yeah, you guys are on one. Some of you guys just want the freedom to do whatever you want. Like the Knight of Wands can also, I'm not calling you guys a player, but it is like that flighty in and out, unreliable type of energy. So this could be like someone, I don't want to be tied down. Like I was saying something earlier about that. You know, the Seven of Swords is like something about freedom that you guys just may want to be free from a situation. You don't want to be tied down. You want to be free to do whatever you want, go wherever you want. You don't want to have somebody holding any standards or reliability to you. Okay. Passionate and confident, charismatic, restless, and events that require immediate action. Trust your instinct, stay focused in a passionate relationship. So maybe some of you guys is like, I don't know what I want. I don't mind, you know, if this is a passionate thing, you, you could come off deceptive like you're using this person for, you know, passionate in and out. But again, you're not really giving this person anything tangible to build on. And this person may be like, trying to come at you like, you're in the love of my life. You're in the love of my life. I want to renew this. I want to, I want your forgiveness. I want this, I want that. And you're kind of like, you're coming off deceptive, not saying you are, but it's like now you're kind of holding back your time, energy and resources. And you're the one that's, you know, kind of flighty. You're not really wanting anything reliable. And I feel like it's because of some type of trust issues, possibly. Show me Virgo. Show me Virgo. What is their next move? Eight of Wands. Yeah, they're traveling, moving very quickly. Too much going on. Stress caused by many positive opportunities, unexpected events, rapid changes, the ability to multitask business and travel. So this person may be traveling towards you, um, coming in with some type of communication, wanting your forgiveness, wanting to renew something. Um, Whatever they're doing, they're they're making both of you guys are kind of in a. This person looks like they're coming towards you. And you're going towards them, but in two different energies. Whoever's on this side is like not really wanting to be tied down, not wanting to give anything substantial, substantial. 
And this person over here looks like they want to move something quickly in a positive thing. They, they want to have some type of communication, like some type of a breakthrough that moves something forward very quickly into possibly forgiveness and renewing a situation. So show me Pisces um, intentions here. Balance. So I don't know. I'm going to get one more because I didn't like the way that came out. But Sagittarius energy. Show me Pisces intentions, please, in this situation. I feel like you guys are trying to keep one foot in water, one foot on land. You guys are trying to stay balanced with your... And, and that's what I feel. I don't feel like you guys are doing this in a shady way. I feel like you guys are doing this to protect your own energy. Like, um, whatever has happened here, something happened here and it puts you in this energy. I don't feel like this is just Pisces being a stingy, greedy, lying, cheating player, you know, balance here. Because that, that wouldn't be... Again, this is kind of verifying the way I was feeling. Balance is Sagittarius energy. It's it's uh, keeping one foot in the water, one foot on land. So it's like, I'm not going to get too emotional and I'm not going to uh, get too ungrounded or I'm not going to, I'm going to stay grounded and I'm going to be in control of my emotions. Pisces, we are already a water sign, you know, so our emotions already run deep. So sometimes in order for us to stay grounded within our emotions, sometimes we have to put more effort into staying grounded, you know, the emotions comes easily, you know, that's, that's a given, you know, we can't help that. So oftentimes we don't need to put in effort when it comes to our emotions, but when it comes to staying grounded, yes, we do need to put more effort into it, you know? So sometimes that can come off like we're being greedy or we're being stingy or we're being deceptive or we're flighty or like we're unreliable. And it's like, no, in order to keep myself from going off into the fucking deep waters, I've got to like constrict myself. I've, you know, I have to do this to, to stay balanced, you know, that's what I'm getting. So I'm going to leave that there. Show me Virgo's intentions. Single card, please. Three of cups. See what I'm saying? This person wants to celebrate. They want a reunion. They want to come together. News for celebrating joyful announcements like engagements, weddings, pregnancies, and graduation. A time of gratitude, close chose, uh, close communities, and chosen families. So this person may be wanting to get together, hang out, celebrate, have a good time, reunite, come together. Um, that's what their intentions are by coming towards you with some type of truthful, honest communication. Um, and they want to move something forward. You, on the other hand, I feel like you're kind of like... I feel like you're trying to stay in control. So whether or not you do want this or you don't want this, either way, I feel like you're trying to like stay in control. Okay. And not really in a deceptive way, but it may come off deceptive to someone else. Okay. So show me the outcome between Pisces and Virgo. Ah, what was I saying? I said, I wouldn't be surprised if the wheel came out in this reading. Boom. There it is. All right. So. The outcome, tables are turning, the wheel is turning in your favor. Okay, a fresh new start, the end of delays, sudden or unexpected progress. That's the sudden or unexpected progress. Um, very positive change in your life, travel or a new vehicle. And that's what I was feeling. Someone may be traveling, um, the, whatever this is, the wheel is turning. Good luck and fortune, something here is faded. Whatever is happening is supposed to happen this way, okay? Tell me more about the outcome. Tell me more about the outcome. Two of Swords. So some of you guys may be refusing to make a choice or a decision. With And this is just for February 20th through the 26th. Um, I don't know. Did this one come out? I don't know anymore. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm going to start here. Some of you guys are refusing to like make a choice or a decision about a situation. Maybe you feel like you don't have all the facts. Maybe you feel like you're unsure. You can't see something clearly. This talks about being unable or unwilling to make a decision. Follow your heart rather than trying to make others happy. Pretending there is no problem and overanalyzing a situation. So this is like you kind of... This could talk about overanalyzing. So maybe you guys are in your thoughts, you know, not really wanting to make a choice or a decision about this situation. Um, maybe you're thinking about following your own heart. And that's what I was getting with this nine of cups. It's like some of you guys may 
be deciding to walk away from a situation emotionally in order to to be happy or to gain some type of wish fulfillment. And again, with this nine of wands, it's like some type of a guarded defensive type of energy, trying to protect what you have created. Be prepared, never give up. Ask your angels for help, environmental activism and animal rights. So again, for some of you guys within February 20th through the 26th, some of you guys, things are turning in your favor. However, I feel like you guys may um, be kind of riding the fence or, um, Choosing not to make a choice or a decision, kind of trying to stand up for yourself, protecting whatever it is that you um, are trying to create here in your life. Um, tell me more about the outcome. So this is just for the time being. Some of you guys, I feel like maybe like riding the fence or uh, just not really making a choice or a decision just yet. King of Wands. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, motivational, inspiring, theatrical, ambitious, taking a leadership role, um, step into the spotlight, public speaking, keeping your eyes on the bigger picture, communicate your vision, and don't be sensitive to criticism. Now you have the King of Cups coming out in the reverse, so, hmm. Some of you guys may feel like this is more passionate, not love, you know, like, this will blow her here. Okay, some of you guys may feel like um, like there could be a lot of passion, attraction, chemistry in this situation. But when it comes to like love, emotions, and feelings, you may feel like someone's emotionally manipulating. You could also just feel like some, either you or this person, it's like one of you feels like the emotion part of this situation is not reciprocated. There could be a lot of passion, a lot of chemistry here. But, um, and I feel like that's why you're choosing not to make a choice or a decision. Anybody could want to reunite and celebrate with you, renew or have some type of forgiveness. And who knows, maybe this person doesn't even want a relationship like in that way. Maybe they just want your forgiveness for something. Cause we do have, please forgive me out here. And I feel terrible for hurting you. So maybe this person hurts you and they're just wanting to like renew, um, like clear the slate, like, Hey, um, please forgive me. I do feel terrible for hurting you. And you're kind of like, eh, you know, um, I don't know if you guys are still being intimate with one another. It's possible here. Um, this person may be wanting to come together. Three cups can talk about friendship. So maybe this person just wants to be your friend. You know, maybe they want to start off as it is their intentions. Like, Hey, let's just be friends. Can you please forgive me so that I can move forward so that we can move forward? It, we, you know, without animosity and you're kind of like, eh, you know, or maybe you're the one that wants forgiveness. I don't know. Either way, I feel like you're trying to stay balanced. Things will turn in your favor within this, whoever I'm picking up on. Um, during this week, I feel like um, you're not going to make a choice or decision. You guys are still kind of guarded, standing up for yourself. Um, I do feel like someone here, it's not quite over with the nine of wands. It's close to completion. Um, the wheel can talk about a completion of a cycle, but with the nine of wands, it's like someone still has a little bit of fight in them left. So whether that's Virgo, it kind of looks more so like Virgo, but um, I could be wrong. I feel like there's a lot of chemistry, a lot of passion, but the emotions isn't really there with this king of cups that came out in the reverse. So let me see. Let's get a few cards to close out this reading. If this reading is resonating with you, please let me know. Smash the thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel. And if this isn't, this is just how the, you know, someone feels. So there could be, the will can also talk about time. So like something here, will divine timing is at play. Things will turn in your favor in divine timing. Something may also need more time to develop feelings, you know, or someone may need to, you know, uh, evaluate their feelings. Like, how do I really feel about this situation? Is it just passion? Is it just chemistry? Is it just sexual? Or does this person really love me, you know? Um, can I trust this person? Cause the King of Cups in the upright is trustworthy and the reverse is someone who's not trustworthy. You know, um, can I trust this person with my emotions, my heart? Okay. All right. So we got, oh shit. We got engagement ring, engagement, partnership, commitment, eternity, completion, and union. And then we have date, meeting someone new, getting back out there, plan and set a date and wedding rings. What? And Cupid's arrow. Wow. Uh, union, wedding, married, soul, connection, eternal love, everlasting promise, 
and Cupid's arrow, and then a heart with the key. Have faith, love is coming, surprise invitation or meeting hesitation, and heart with the key, welcoming love, meeting the one, open your heart, getting together and perfect. To me, this looks like some of you guys, maybe even both of you, I don't know. Someone here is going to be meeting somebody new. So I feel like Spirit is saying, hold again, divine timing, hold tight because there could be Cupid's arrows about to strike. Date. Some of you guys may be setting some type of a date, okay? Maybe with someone new and it could lead to some type of engagement or wedding, okay? So if this situation isn't, um, I want to say, doing it for you or you feel like there's something lacking, um, then, uh, or vice versa, Virgo, you feel like something's lacking, like, I, uh, you know, because I don't really see love here, guys. I'm just going to be honest. I, I do see passion or attraction, but, um, yeah, if you feel like this, don't try to make a situation, yeah, believe what you see. It, don't try to make a situation what you want it to be, because I feel like what you want will actually come in if you, if you hold off, you know, let divine timing take its course. Believe what you see. You're given too many Fs. So I don't know. I feel like, I don't know. I don't really see anybody doing anything wrong in this reading. If somebody's just wanting to like renew a friendship or, you know, not end or not separate or whatever this is on bad terms, I feel like you're right for holding back because this could have been something that was in and out. Maybe it was a one night stand with the Virgo or something like that. And you're holding back trying to keep your keep your stance, keep your balance, okay? Being patient. This may have been something that was strictly like passionate and someone may not have known what they wanted. Maybe you didn't know what you wanted, Pisces. Maybe you don't feel like this is what you want. You may feel terrible for hurting this person. This person may still want to be friends with you. But when it comes to the love department, I feel like this is kind of like an on-point reading for whoever this is. We both know I'm not the one for you. Yeah, so someone here may be saying, like, this isn't, we both know that this isn't the end-all, be-all, the end game, right? But, um, um, yeah, there's something better coming. I, we just seen that. So I'm going to leave this reading here. If it helped, give you clarity in any way, let me know. Smash that thumbs up button. Subscribe to the channel. See you guys in the next one. Peace.